how to create a high converting lead magnet. Guys, Kim Barrett here from Your Social Voice, and today I'm talking to you about how do you create a high converting lead magnet. Now, why am I talking to you about this topic? Well, we actually just recently received this award right here, where we were put in the top 1% of conversion marketers and in the marketers hall of fame because we had a lead magnet and a landing page that converted over 75% based on the traffic that came there. What that means is over 100 people go to the page, 75 of them will leave their details for us because what we have is so irresistible for them. Now, the lead magnet and the landing page are two very similar things because your landing page is what you use to capture the details of someone who wants your lead magnet. Okay, so that's what you need to think about is, now you need to have a irresistible lead magnet for someone to leave their details on the landing page, right? If one of them sucks, it doesn't really matter how good the other is, it's not going to work. So I'll talk you guys through an example of ours and then I'll talk about afterwards why it was so good and why it allowed us to receive this award. So to start off with, we came up, we needed to come up with an idea to capture people's attention that were interested in Facebook advertising, right? That's what we do. We help people get better at their online marketing, specifically Facebook ads, and how to generate leads and sales from that. So we needed to get people that were interested in this. So we looked at what a lot of other people were doing, and one of the things that we came up with previously was a ebook, right? A lot of people doing ebooks. However, I noted that I don't use the ebooks, right? I download them, they sit in my email, maybe I'll read it, maybe, most of the times I won't. This is something that I'm really, really, really interested in. Or a friend of mine has said, hey, you have to read this book. The other day I downloaded one and read one, but it was only because I had heard about it on uh, in another book that I was reading and I was like, okay, this sounds very interesting. I need to know this stuff. So I said, what else do we look at? What else could we use that would generate that sort of interest where you had to consume it? Well, it needs to be easy. It needs to be simple and easy to execute. So what we decided to do was create a template, right? We created a template that was going to get you a high converting ad every single time. And we included a training that went along with that. So it was our Facebook high converting ad template that you can use every time to generate X number of sales and X amount of dollars for your business. That's what we created and that's what we were going to use as our lead magnet. So we went through and we created it. And we wanted to test to start off with to see if it would work. So we put it out to the marketplace, we sent it to our email list, people started to respond to it. So we said, hey, it must be willing to work. So we had a lead magnet that was of interest to people. We knew that they wanted it, we tested it with our own warm audience. It was something that was easy to consume so you can give people what's called results in advance, where they can see it, they can consume it, they can use it. And then from there, we went and built a landing page to be attached to it. Now again, that just because you put that out there doesn't mean it's going to convert well. Right? There's three components that you have, which is the traffic method you used to get them there, the conversion method being your landing page, and obviously number three is the delivery. So when you're thinking about creating a high converting lead magnet, you need to understand number one, and it's something that we've talked about on many of our videos, which is the NOC method, your niche, your offer, and the copy. The niche needs to be specific and something that's going to help them. So do you think if you're running Facebook ads, Right to generate new clients. If I give you a converting ad template, is that going to be something that you're going to want to use? Is that something that's suitable for that niche? Yes. Right. It's something that everyone would want. Right. It's something that that niche would be hungry for because if they're running ads at the moment, of course you want to improve them. Of course you want to get better results. The offer. What is it? You want to get a converting template that you can use that's added over 15 million dollars in sales to our clients' businesses. Is that a good offer? Would you push your friends out of the way to be able to run up and get access to it? Yeah, you would, right? You go, cool, I want that first before anyone else. It's a good offer. It's an easy download. And then you use the, your copy to articulate why people should take action on that, why people should actually move forward and do something about it. So we kept it very simple. Number one, what is it? Converting our template. Number two, what's it done for people? It's added over $15 million in sales to our clients' businesses. Right? Added. It's not for someone who's a very beginner just to try and learn how to make their first dollar. People that have good offers and good products and good services out there, it allows them to actually use that, right? Use that template to grow their businesses. And that's what we're all about. So all those three things lined up, the niche, the offer, the copy, were all on point. That allowed us to have a really, really good lead magnet. Then we put it onto a simple page. 
right? There's no point in having the best lead magnet if no one down downloads it. So we put on a very simple page with a picture of what it was, with our headline again. You're gonna get the converting ad template that's done this. All we want is your name and email and we'll send it to you. That's it, that's all that we asked for. Then on the bottom, what we also did is we just had a few nice design elements on there. Obviously it looked quite nice. Then what we did was we just put a few social proof elements, being some of the places we've been featured like entrepreneur.com, business insider, click funnels, uh, we wrote articles for them. So we put a few different logos on there as social proof of the places we've been seen. And that was it, it's very simple. Like if you're looking on a full computer screen, it's all above the fold, there's not much else to it. Because we want it to be easy for people to download, people to consume, all right? Because if we have something that's gonna give people results, you don't wanna make it difficult for them. Don't try and push things out of the way, don't make them have to jump through a bunch of hoops. Here it is, use it, consume it, and then go out there and make it happen. And what we'll do guys is we'll give you a link in the comments down below. So that if you want to check it out, you can go look at it and see what we're talking about there. You'll be able to see and understand exactly what it looks like. Download it if you want. Um, it's free, you know, very easy um, to use. So download it, have a look and, and see, you'll be able to see how simple and easy it is. So they're the keys to making sure that you have a high converting lead magnet. But guys, really the most important part is that NOC part. Because if I was doing that and I was promoting it to dog owners, it wouldn't make sense. Right, or dentists, they probably didn't know what it was. I needed to find the right audience of people, the traffic, that were already using Facebook ads. So how did I do that? Well, again, if you watch any of our videos, you know how we use our targeting methods. We use our stakeout process, which is where we think about what that person is doing. If you do that, if you think about it, if you consume it, if you really think about what that person is doing, you'll be able to target them. So we use lots of different interests, like we would use people that visited our Facebook page, right? People that have visited our website, we send it to them. We looked at who are some of the influencers in the marketplace that talk about Facebook ads. We targeted them as well. So we used our stakeout method, our targeting system to identify who to run our ads to. Then we sent them to an offer that we knew that they would like. And then we articulated it in a way that encouraged them to take action. And that's really all it takes. And it's like, will every single person, every single time, get a 75% conversion rate and become part of the marketing hall of fame? No. But we've had five, 10, 15 different lead magnets that we've tried before that, that we've tried every single time to see what we could get that would work. And look, not all the time do they work. A lot of the time, they suck. But hey, that's what business is about. That's what marketing is about, which was testing, measuring, improving time and time and time again, so that we could ensure that we got the best result possible, that it was the most irresistible offer. Because like I said, we had one before, which was an ebook, how to get five new clients next week. It wasn't as attractive but the template was, and we could make sure that they used it and consumed it straight away. So when you're looking at creating a high converting lead magnet, that's what I want you to think about, is going, how can I make it simple, easy, give them results straight away, and make it something that you actually want to use? Not a 95 billion page ebook on the 65 different ways to cut your hair, no one cares, right? Keep it simple, keep it easy, keep it interesting for the other people, because it's not about you. It doesn't matter what I want, it's what the market wants, nice and easy and simple for them, then from there you'll be able to go out there and make it happen. But also make sure you test, whether it's a test to your warm audience, what do you like best, whether you run a Facebook ad, a couple of different tests, different ideas, click on the idea that likes you the most so you can measure the results, that is what you should be doing. That is what you should be thinking about when you create your lead magnets to attract your ideal clients. Guys, today it is simple. Just do that and you'll be streets ahead of anyone else because no one else thinks about it and takes the time to. They think about what works for them, they send it out to the marketplace, it doesn't work, oh, Facebook sucks, doesn't work. Mm -hmm. You just haven't done your research properly. Now guys, I hope that today you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give us a little thumbs up, give us a like action so we know that you're liking it. Leave us a comment, let me know. If there's any other content you would like us to cover, anything around lead magnets, landing page design, anything like that. And as always, make sure that you subscribe so that you see these videos first before anyone else. Until next time, guys, I'm Kim Barrett. You've been awesome. Adios.